I've lost contact with most of the men you assigned to me. It's Wake's doing. Wait, are you seriously telling me that Geek Rider just took out my deputies? Are you kidding? I mean, have you seen this guy? He wears a tweed jacket. Over. He's the guy we're chasing. If it's not him, who then? Bigfoot? Over. I don't know yet, but I'm not in the habit of jumping to conclusions. That tends to come back and bite you in the ass. Out. I could see the lights of the radio station in the distance. I imagined that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Well... Let's see. 
have to try to sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Danny Brown. You got away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. I've never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine.
coal mine wasn't far now. 